A common thing you'll hear a lot on the internet over debates as to the extent of Stalin's power in the Soviet Union is discussion over the idea that Stalin attempted to resign several times during his tenure as General Secretary of the Soviet Union. Supporters of Stalin use this idea to claim that Stalin wasn't a dictator, that Stalin could have resigned at any time and in fact wanted to, while detractors simply say these were fake resignation attempts to try and expose people disloyal to him. What's the truth? Let's take a closer look. Joseph Stalin was first appointed as the General Secretary of the Central Committee of the CPSU in April 1922. The first attempt to resign that is often mentioned came three years later at the 13th Congress in 1925. As Stalin said in a speech in 1927, he attempted to resign both in 1925 and 1926, specifically over Lenin's condemnation of him in Lenin's testament, but the party refused to let him. Despite the fact that this is Stalin talking about himself, I can't find any opposition to Stalin having actually said this at the time. I assume if he hadn't said it, there would have been pushback in his time, especially from someone like Trotsky. This was only two years later in a public speech, so I think it's very likely he did say this. He did attempt to resign and was refused. He also had not really consolidated power at this point. It was around 1928 that Stalin's ideas emerged victorious in comparison to his opposition. So it's safe to assume that if people really wanted to vote him out at that time in 1925 and 26, they could have done so, so this seems to be a genuine attempt at resignation. Stalin's next two attempts were, according to historian Robert Service, in letters to Alexei Rykov in 1926 and in 1927. I tried to find these letters in their original form online, but I could not, so I decided to just go to Service's biography of Stalin. Of course, I quickly discovered something that was quite surprising, and which is not at all mentioned in the numerous Reddit and Quora and Twitter conversations between supposed historians that I'd read about the topic. And that is that Stalin tried to resign at least four times before 1925, from as early as 1919 to as late as 1924, with only the resignation in 1919 not being sourced by Robert Service. So this pretty much ruins the theory that saying he was going to resign was just a test of loyalty, since Stalin attempted to resign numerous times before he had all that much power at all. As Service writes, these attempts are really ways for Stalin to get his way on things. After all, according to Vyacheslav Molotov in his book Molotov Remembers, Lenin also threatened to resign multiple times in order to get his way on things, so Stalin very likely could have gotten inspiration from Lenin, who Stalin of course idolized. Of course, Vyacheslav Molotov, arguably Stalin's closest advisor, himself gives mixed testimony on the idea of Stalin attempting to resign. He suggests Stalin would in fact do something like fake resign, but he also does say that Stalin genuinely wanted to resign at times, especially after the end of World War II, as Stalin displays in 1952 in another speech, where he tries to resign, but one of his closest allies, Georgi Milenkov, insists that Stalin is nominated again. Of course, Milenkov's intervention could have been some kind of staged maneuver. Milenkov was, after all, a close ally with Stalin. But also, it could have just been Milenkov standing up for Stalin to continue because he genuinely believed and wanted Stalin to stay in power. In conclusion, I think that while there is truth to the idea that the attempts could have been meant to test loyalty, given that Stalin tried to resign multiple times before having great power, the attempts were clearly also to some extent, if not for the most part, genuine. This doesn't mean Stalin was or wasn't a dictator alone, but calling the attempts to resign simple gauges of loyalty and not genuine is pretty much certainly not true. Anyways, that's about all I have to say for this video. If you have any further evidence for or against these being genuine resignation attempts, let me know in the comments. Also consider supporting the channel by subscribing and also following me on Twitter and on Twitch. And I've also opened a Ko-Fi if you want to support me financially, it's in the description, as is everything else. Thanks for watching!